Hi there. It's December 14th, 10 days until Christmas Eve, which means, yep, it's time to bust out the sweaters and hot cocoa. Except I forgot to bring cocoa, so this, this cup is empty. So. This whole thing is a sham! The Wall Street Journal has released a report containing details on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S7. That's what it's called. Apparently, the new device will feature a pressure-sensitive display like the Force Touch screen on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. The S7 will also get its micro SD card slot back, thank goodness, but only in the non-edge version, as Samsung will reportedly release a curved and non-curved model once again. The company is also considering adding a retina scanner to the phone before it launches in March 2016. Hopefully Samsung can get enough sales to pay Apple back <laughs> from the lawsuits that they lost, right, Jack? Hey! Heyo! Oh. A team of researchers led by Stanford University are working on a revolutionary new processor design that could increase performance by a thousand times. Rather than chips laid out like single-story structures connected by circuits, the new design stacks processors and memory like floors in a skyscraper, much like the recently launched high bandwidth memory in AMD's Fiji GPU. This apparently dramatically increases speed and power efficiency. The researchers refer to their new approach as nano-engineered computing systems technology, or N3XT? I guess computing systems is the X in there. They really wanted to call it next. But guess what? That still doesn't really make sense because the E is a three, so psh. Should have researched spelling instead. Speaking of AMD's Fiji chip, because I I did speak about it in the last story. Apparently, owners of air-cooled Fury cards can potentially unlock some extra performance. Air-cooled Fury GPUs have a cut-down version of the full Fiji chip found in the Fury X with 3,840 compute units instead of 4,096. Well, a user on the Extreme Systems forums has managed to unlock the rest of the compute units on his Asus Strix R9 Fury. Now, this doesn't mean that every air-cooled Fury will be able to do this thanks to chip binning, but if you do own one, maybe take a look. At your own risk, of course. But what is life if not a series of risks? For example, I'm going to take a risk right now and hope that this Quick Bits clip isn't offensive. I say ya, I say ya, I say ya, Quick Bits. Hey, all right. It's pretty safe. Micron will launch the successor to GDDR5 video memory called GDDR6 next year, that makes sense, as the company's answer to HBM, featuring bandwidth of 10 to 14 gigabits per second. Netflix is apparently considering converting its video streaming service to make use of a BitTorrent-like technology called WebTorrent, so users would assist in hosting content in addition to the central servers. But, 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 but torrents are bad! Ooh. The European Union is considering a law that would ban kids under the age of 16 from using internet services like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and even email if they don't have parental permission. Now there's a petition to oppose the law, of course. Pfft. Teenagers. The R9 390 currently has 8 gigs of VRAM, but apparently some Chinese retailers are selling 4 gigabyte models, so perhaps we'll see those in the West soon. If we do, the lower price would make it even more competitive compared to the GTX 970. But not this one with the funky box. What is that? And the FAA has decreed that all drone owners in the U.S. must register their aircraft by February 19th or face fines. Registration goes live December 21st. Boo! Don't take our drones! Wait, I mean, take their drones or I'll shoot them. Hold on. I don't know. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. In the description. I honestly don't think I can do a very good impression of this, so... <laughs> Just a reminder guys, Christmas is coming fast, so make sure you place your orders before December 16th to get regular shipping in time for the 25th, or before the 21st to get express shipping before the 25th, and the dates are actually different for the US, so check the link below. If you're not sure what the heck to even buy, check out our NCIX Holiday Gift Guide. It's got ideas, even if you don't. So click here or the link in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Nettling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Well, did, did anyone buy Coco yet? No? Well, I guess I'll have to settle for these, these coffee beans. It's close enough. Cocoa beans, coffee beans. <coughs> that's not. It's not the same. Okay, well.
See ya.